Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, approximately 10.30 in Honolulu, 4.30 in New York on Monday, last day of the month, September 30th, 2013, and this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. We have the precious metals markets under moderate pressure today. We have the equities markets taking a virtual bath as the United States government decides whether or not they're going to do anything about their debt ceiling. Current print on the screen, 1327, 1328, puts it off about eight, eight and a half dollars on the day with a low of 1322.40 and a high of 1344.50. Silver also under pressure, but minor pressure, off about six cents on the day, 2167 as you see on the screen with a low of 38 and a high of 2217. Now, we are starting this show just prior to President Obama coming out and speaking. That will be in a couple of minutes. We'll see if there's any kind of a spike or a big reaction in this market. I did suggest a trade yesterday in which we went long and put a very, very tight $10 stop in that market. The stop absolutely got hit. Stop was at 1330. My sentiment was that if in fact there was a stalemate as the Senate and Congress try to tackle and deal with this looming debt ceiling crisis that we have, my sense was that that, that would affect the dollar in a extremely bearish way and should affect gold prices to the upside. We are absolutely not seeing that. As we look at gold right now, we are roughly seven hours uh, from the deadline. And the deadline is whether or not this government is going to run out of money. They really need to address not only spending, but the current debt ceiling and doing something. If you would have asked me Thursday or Friday, if this game of chicken would unfold this way in which nothing would be done up to a last minute kind of a bailout, I would have thought that our government and the political powers that be would have a little bit more sense than that. I was wrong. We're looking at gold under pressure. My sense is that if they let this deadline go to its conclusion without coming up with any kind of a compromise, my sense is we're going to see a tremendous amount of pressure placed on the dollar. The dollar will go down and I would look to see gold go higher. That's on a fundamental basis. On a technical basis, we have to look at it in a completely different light and that's as follows. And we talked about this a little bit last week. This is a daily chart, continuous contract of COMEX Gold. And what I've been observing in the marketplace, we're putting in our upper level resistance line right here. This is our level of support right in here. And as you can see, we are getting a compression in terms of the range in the market, meaning we are getting a series of lower highs. We are getting a series of higher lows and we are a quickly approaching what I call the apex or the point in which we can look for a release of the energy. That at least is the technical theory behind it. Now, when we look at the recent lows that we have, you can see that they are in fact falling above our upper level support line. And so as long as we can maintain above this line, my belief is that we could see this market take off and move to the upside. But the question is, will it break to the upside or to the downside? And based upon the current trend in the market, because typically, typically the market will break to the prevailing trend, that prevailing trend can be only seen as a downtrend right now. What are the areas we need to watch? We have critical support areas, and let's go ahead and put those up. And these are the current levels that I'm looking at. I'm doing it with our daily chart. I'm going to go ahead and kind of move this over and blow this up so we can focus on this most recent activity here. We have identified what I believe to be a critical support area roughly at 1300. We've talked about that all throughout the last week. I still believe that that level should hold. Resistance right now is sitting at 1335. That is a 38% retracement, a 38% retracement of the entire rally right here from call it uh, 1181 to 1434. So I do see real resistance here. We're trading below it at 28 and the market maintains under pressure in light of fundamental news that I would construe as pretty bullish for the metals market, specifically gold. Now I've converted this chart into a Japanese average chart. The uh, 
average chart's going to really take out a lot of the noise in the marketplace. You can see we do have green candles over the last few trading days, and they're coming right after dojis, but they're not really large candles at all. They do have tails on both sides. Of course, on the way up, we're looking for an absence of the lower wick, as you can see right in here, which is simply stating that uh, the trading range itself opened above the midpoint of the prior candle and traded consistently ab ab above the midpoint for the entire trading session. You have the Dow, which closed under extreme pressure, down about 128 points. S&P down. You've got a marketplace right now that's absolutely in limbo. And it's in limbo because it is waiting for direction uh, from the U.S. government as to what they're going to do in terms of our current debt ceiling. In terms of the marketplace itself, I am reluctant, reluctant to see this market really climb in the way that it should based on the fundamental news. And then when we look at our technical indicators, this marketplace is weak at best. So at this point, what are we looking at? Well, as I look at this market, Let's look at a couple of the critical levels that the market really needs to hold. And, and in terms of any kind of a continuing upside move, it's going to have to, of course, stay above 1308, 1305, but it needs to effectively begin to trade above 1330 and 1338. I think that those are our real levels right now of current resistance with another band of resistance up at around 1375 but that really is not something that concerns us right now because the market's effectively trading under 1330. so my sense is that even with the fundamental news in the way that it is we are really forming a base in this area but we could still see the market under real pressure my sense is that this market should have reacted bullishly to the fundamental news that's out there. Quite honestly, it has not. We'll sit sidelined as we wait for this current dilemma to unfold and to see exactly how it's resolved and how the markets react, if they react accordingly or not. The president has just come on and is speaking. I'm watching the market as it trades, 1328.04. Let's listen. All around the world. In the event of a government shutdown, hundreds of thousands of these dedicated public servants who stay on the job will do so without pay. And several hundred thousand more will be immediately and indefinitely furloughed without pay. Uh, of course, will not be furloughed are the bills that they have to pay their mortgages, their tuition payments, their car notes. These Americans are our neighbors. Their kids go to our schools. They worship where we do. They serve their country with pride. They are the customers of every business in this country. And they would be hurt greatly. And as a consequence, all of us will be hurt greatly should Congress choose to shut the people's government down. No doubt, an interesting day in the market. President's still speaking. You can see the market is not really reacting. We're going into a, just under seven hours before the government runs out of money. We'll have to see how this unfolds. What about silver? The fact is, is that silver is a metal which is used not only as a semi-precious metal, uh, gold's younger brother, so to speak, but also an industrial metal any kind of weakness that we start to see within the equities markets, I believe will affect silver in a bearish manner and put it under more pressure. Currently trading 2171, 2164 is the next real level of support. If it cannot hold that, there really isn't any major support until it drops below 21 to about 2080. That's a 61% retracement of this last rally. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.